Kev, anyone who owns a home with trees on or around it uh, should be interested in this next question. Tim emails us saying that uh, his tree drops branches on his neighbor's yard. The neighbor apparently is threatening to sue Tim to pay for the branches to be cleaned up and the ones that haven't fallen that may fall on his yard uh, and or I guess also sue him for damages if something gets in, uh, broken or injured. So thoughts about this for uh, Tim? He's wondering what can he do? Is there anything to protect himself as the home property owner? Well, and one of the things that was missing from that question is whether the tree is, uh, you know, in good shape or is it uh, uh, deceased or deceased? Is it decaying? Is it uh, does it have some type of a disease that um, uh, is it dead? In that, I think that you have a different standard. If you have mm. a tree that would be a uh, reasonable um, risk of harm to property or 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 persons on the adjoining property, then I think you'd have a duty to act in that situation. But if it's just a live tree in your yard and it occasionally dumps leaves branches it's kind of goes with the you know you live in a neighborhood you have neighbors everybody has trees i think kentucky courts would just say it's part of the um i would say privilege of living in a community that you have to deal with these type of issues on occasion if you have if you have a neighbor i'm just talking to our listeners if, if your neighbor has trees that is you're concerned about that maybe they're getting old branches maybe showing i don't know how you do this but i'm just saying it, from my experience, you would want to send a registered letter to that neighbor, putting them on notice that you're concerned about the trees and that they need to be addressed. Am I right about that to help? Well, that would, that would be, yeah, that would be, and you could even go to the point if they don't do anything, you try to put the uh, the neighbor's insurance company on notice. Because that's the difference. If there is a diseased tree, is, is there's a tree that is dead, then there's an active duty on that homeowner to do something. But And that's why they really didn't differentiate in that question. If it's just a live, healthy tree that just happens to occasionally drop branches, I don't think there's an issue. But if it is a decayed tree, it's disease, it is a threat of harm to the, the adjoining neighbors, then at that point you'd have to act. But I think a letter well, first of all, go over with a cup of coffee and talk to your neighbor. If there is an issue, get an arborist out there to take a look at it. If that doesn't work, next step is a written, you know, send a letter. That doesn't work at that point in time. You may have to, to move it on up a little bit. And also, you do sometimes have a lot of homeowners associations. You can get them involved to try to see if they can intervene. It's a, it's mm -hmm. a nuisance, but it's within the association's uh, uh, purview. If there is a homeowner association, right? right. Yeah, that's yeah. one of the advantages of having one. 